Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the new ASP.NET Storefront Commander software by Simran Technologies. ASP.NET Storefront Commander is basically a compact application that you run on your computer, Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 7, that allows you to manage day-to-day -day tasks that you might perform in your admin. Um, one of the most common things that people uh, that are running storefronts usually run into is that they need to update their products and uh, the conventional and still the most popular method of uh, you know wanting to update your website is through a CSV file. Um, unfortunately the WSI system in ASP.NET Storefront uses XML uh, styled files and a lot of people aren't comfortable uh, generating XML files. So what we've come up with is a way for you to build a CSV file and fill it up information and then process that information so that you can update your website. Uh, what this allows you to do is that you can import uh, product information or uh, any of the major fields in ASP.NET Storefront uh, that relate to products or variants including category mapping and quickly update your storefront. Uh, one of the exciting things that you can do is that you can actually choose which fields you want to update. Um, by default you'll need the minimum um, fields which are already added for you if you choose the action to insert and then you can uh, choose any other particular field that you want to update. Um, one of the very powerful aspects is that you can update fields that are not normally available in the admin such as your extension data 2, 3, 4, and 5. So if you're using those fields and you want to quickly update your admin this is a great application for you to be able to do that. Um, and once again, there are uh, various other fields available as well that pretty much cover all the variants and product information that you'll that you'll need. Um, you can also quickly do updates as well as uh, deletes. Um, updates obviously don't require as much as long as you have the variant ID, product ID, or uh, you know, the product class. Um, it will allow you to update that information. Now, one of the things that we have actually done that uh, to make your lives easier is that you can actually choose your SKU. And even if you don't use storefront product IDs and variant IDs, as long as you have unique product SKUs or uh, variant SKUs, you can actually enter in the SKU and it will actually figure out what the product ID is based on the SKU. Now this only works if you have unique SKUs uh, but since a lot of customers are doing uh, some sort of integration where they're using the SKU as their primary key this t tends to work out pretty well. Uh, delete obviously works the same way um, it will have three columns you, you know the action you just enter delete for that column and um, enter their variant ID or product ID and once again if you don't have that you can enter the product SKU or variant SKU and the system will um, automatically process that information for you. Um, another great thing is you can actually schedule imports and exports so let's say you, ha you um, generate five or six files that you need to do updates, deletes or you have some sort of integration where every so often like every five minutes you've got an inventory update coming uh, which in case you would go in here and you know uh, basically specify the inventory uh, that you're wanting to do. Uh, same thing for price, you could do that as well. Um, and you can actually schedule something to run every five minutes or so. So if you're doing some sort of real-time integration with uh, with uh, your back office system that spits out a CSV file, as long as it's in pretty close format, uh, the columns don't need to be there as long as the, the names are right. You can actually schedule that to run every five minutes or two hours or whatever interval that you do, you, you may want to have. Um, just like imports, you can also do exports. Uh, works fairly the same way. Um, you can uh, you know specify what fields you want to export. There's no minimum requirement for here, obviously. So you can actually have a customized field. You might want to have you know something like the, the product name, product ID and then maybe decide if, what type of product it is and then you know you could you know export the price and what this will do it will give you a nice condensed file with only the information that you need and once again we pretty much have all the fields for the products and the variants available for you to uh, export. Um, you can also specify ranges if you have the product ID range you can specify a range to export as well as the date that it was created um, so if you want to have like you want to see everything from last year you can set up the range and it will actually uh, export the range for you and uh, allow you to do that and you can actually save this uh, schematic of this export and schedule repeated exports 
So you might want to say, I want to export this uh, CSV file every 10 minutes. Well, go ahead and save th that and then import it into your scheduler and you know, you'll be able to do that as, as well. Um, lastly, customer information such as order information as well as uh, customer exports. You can do that as well. You can export your order information or you can export order ranges. Um, this does export all fields for orders. Uh, we don't have the ability to select which fields that you want to export now. That may be coming up in a future version which allows you to specify which uh, which fields you want to export. But for this version, uh, you know, it's just basically bare bones. You set up a range and uh, as long as it meets the criteria, it will export a CSV file with that information. Um, remember, uh, there this is a paid application with a free version available. Um, basically, you do need to have uh, web services running on your um, on your website, and that's basically you can do, do that by going to your domain.com forward slash ipx.asmx. As long as you have the web services running, you can use this application. Um, if you do register with us, it has unlimited functionality. Um, if you actually don't have a registration key, uh, that's fine. You can still run the software. Uh, the only thing that it does restrict, uh, you can only run 50 records, and uh, batch. Uh, processing is not available for imports and exports, but that's not to say that you can't uh, have, you know, you can't uh, import or export a file one at a time. So uh, that's a little bit about ASP.NET Storefront Commander. Uh, it's a great little utility for you to try out. And, uh, you know, if you have any other questions, just uh, feel free to visit us on our website at swimmer.com. Uh, send us an email or call us over the phone. We'd uh, love to chat with you. Thanks.